Indeed it does indeed, sir. And we've got a very heartwarming story now. It was in July of last year when 83-year-old Rita Estes saw a poster for line dancing classes and she had no idea just how much this would reignite her lifelong passion for dance. Now fast forward 10 months later and she's now on her way to the South African line dancing champs and she's eager to get, on, to get in line and put her best foot forward. While most octogenarians are happy to relax in their golden years, Rita Esterhazen is learning dance moves like the Monterey Turn and the Sugarfoot Swivel. We are very proud of my mom for doing this. She's living her dream. And for us, it's just such a blessing to be able to walk this road with her and to see how she blossoms every time the music starts playing. Rita was an avid and high-achieving dancer in her younger years, but she never got to fulfill her dream of becoming a professional dancer. When I was younger, I did ballet, Spanish, tap dancing. She was six years old. They had an article in the newspaper, and the heading said, Six and a Marvel. My mom is 83, and she's still that marvel. I just drove past, and I saw Leon's advert came to see him and said, I can come on Monday. If I like it, I can join them. The way she walked and came into the hall, I could see she knew what dancing was about, so we wouldn't have problems teaching her to move around. I saw this and I tried it, I loved it. Line dancing involves a group executing the same sequence of dance movements in different directions while maintaining a line formation. Rita will be the oldest person competing at the SA Championships. Not really nervous. But very excited because it will only be the second competition in line dancing. The competition is divided into age categories and Rita will be competing solo with three different routines. The three dances I'm doing is the disco, the west coast swing and the east coast swing. She's very confident because apart from the private lessons she also practices at home. So she's really well prepared for the SA Masters. I'm fully confident that she'll do extremely well. Rita also has the support of her dance group, Rainbow Line Dancing, who will be competing in the championships as well. You wouldn't have known that she's that, she's that age because she's just part of us and she takes part in everything and she laughs with us and she has a good time. So oh, she's fabulous. She's really, really an example for every one of us. She is amazing to dance with. And she's also great fun. You won't say that she's 83 if you look at her. It's clear that Rita is rocking to her own rhythm and is filled with joy as she happily dances through life. A truly inspiring story indeed. And we're so honoured to have Mrs. Rita Estes and herself join us this morning, as well as her dance instructor, Mr. Leon Nell. Thank you very much for being here with us this morning and, and sharing this wonderful story. Oh, it is an amazing story, yes. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, uh, Mrs. Estes, I've got, I've got to ask this. I, I understand that part of your life philosophy is believing that you need to do, live the best life that you can and do all that you can while you still can. So is dance the only adventure that you find yourself in right now? Or what else do you do to kind of make sure that you live your best life? I won't call it an adventure, but if anything comes past my way and I feel I can do it, I'll try it. And when you saw that poster, what was it that made you say, I really want to be part of this? Because I love dancing. And you don't really see line dancing adverts. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that, I knew this is where I want to be. This is where I want to be. And Leon, of course, this was ignited by, by you putting up that poster and having these, these classes. And you're now going to be participating in the South African Line Dance Championships. Um, but tell me about what, it, what you see when you see uh, Rita on stage performing and, and how she literally just kind of blossoms and comes alive in that stage. She is an inspiration to everyone watching her because she comes alive on the floor. Mm -hmm. She is in her own world and she just enjoys what she's doing and betraying what we've taught her how to, or what to do as she dances away. Yeah. And as a dance instructor, why do you see it as so important to have these classes, to be participating in these championships and to make line dancing more popular? It's a form of exercise, mild exercise, so even older people can join in. Mm -hmm. And they're often fitter than the young people. <laughs> and um, 
it's just a fun way of uh, socializing with other people. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We are really looking forward to your performance coming up shortly after the break, and we'll see you just now. So stay thank tuned you. for that. Make sure that you don't miss it. In fact, here's what you can expect on your Feel Good Breakfast.